Hey everybody, Jillian here, back with a brand new hymnal journaling process video. One night I went down this like rabbit hole on Instagram of watching uh, hyperlapses of different artists' processes. I would do not recommend doing that at night if you are the creative type because you will not be able to sleep. Your mind will be firing on all cylinders. And actually what happened to me was I ended up um, getting out of bed at like midnight or something and trying on a bunch of different techniques that I had seen and then went back to sleep at like 1.30 in the morning. And uh, it was it was, a rough, it was rough the next day. So what I'm gonna do today is try to recreate one thing that I had tried out on these two hymns here in um, this hymnal that I uh, procured from my church. I'll go ahead and link the very first one that I did, uh, which gives you a little more background info on this so if you wanna check out that video. But quickly, some things I'm gonna use for today's video are some acrylic paints, some of the Illustrated Faith watercolors. Mine is a total mess. The paint uh, scraping technique using one of the paint cards from Illustrated Faith. The gratitude washi simply because I like the colors um, with these paint colors. And then I might use some of these print and pray pieces from Brianna Showalter. This is from her Be Thou My Vision set. And uh, I'll go ahead and link this in the video description. I printed it on some clear sticker paper, but this hymnal doesn't have the that hymn in it for some reason, I don't know. So I found a couple that I thought were comparable and then ended up going in a totally different direction. And I'll talk more about that later in the video. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and speed you guys up and get started. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and get all my supplies prepped and my Bible mat came in very, very handy for this entry. So I'm taking the Illustrated Faith paint card here and I'm putting three colors of acrylic paint on here. The pink is light portrait pink. It's the Liquitex heavy body acrylic paint. The aqua color is called light turquoise and that's from Anita's acrylic. Those are at Hobby Lobby. And then the darker green is from Folk Art brand acrylic paint and that color is called Forest Moss. I put a little paint on the edge of the card and am just being careful to swipe it on the page without mixing them so they don't get like gross and muddy. And I went over it with a heavy hand so that they would so they be a little more opaque. And then once I had finished both the bottom left and the top right, I thought I wanted to add a bit more paint, so I went in and did the same thing a couple more times. I use my heat tool a ton for this um, entry, and so you'll see it a lot in the video. I tried to cut most of it out, so it'll be a little choppy in the middle here. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use the Gratitude Documented Washi Tape along with the It Is Well Washi Tape, both from Illustrated Faith. And I'm going to just put little bits um, on top of the paint now that it's dried. This is very much inspired by Heather Greenwood and all of those really cool mixed media tutorials that she shares over on the Illustrated Faith blog. I think she's got one tonight on Facebook Live if you're watching this the Wednesday that this goes live. So that'll be really fun to tune into. And then I just very simply put some white acrylic paint onto my finger and then finger painted over the washi. I wanted to cover up the edges um, and just kind of make it look blended in with the paint. Then I'm gonna go in with the Illustrated Faith watercolors and I wanna do like this dark aqua color and I'm going to take the brush that came with this watercolor set and it's nice and big and um, I'm just going to paint over the white paint and put some splatters of paint down. I realized I didn't want to do both sides at the same time because I kind of wanted to have this effect where the paint is dripping down. So I went ahead and dried the bottom left and then concentrated on the top right. So I went in with that dark aqua color and then I also took some black watercolor and um, you can see tilted the book up and applied the paint so that I could get it to run down the page and then also dried it in place um, so that would help it move a little bit. And then I just wanted to put a bunch of paint splatters on the page too. Now I covered up a lot of the pink washi on the top right here and added a bit more after tearing it in half and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side get some big black paint splotches on there this was really really fun to do I had some music on in the background and got to kind of think about these hymns and the lyrics and what I wanted to journal about and so this was just a really wonderful time of worship and it's a little more freeing being in a hymnal because I don't have like that pressure of being in my bible and worrying about covering the whole page and um, paint and things like that. 
Next, I realized I didn't have much room to journal, so I took these pieces of paper that I had from the Gratitude Documented 6x8 paper pad, and I am obsessed with tearing paper and um, taping it into the gutter of my Bible. So I'm going to do that with the hymnal here, and the green color was just it was a 4x6 sheet, it was a scrap actually, and I really wanted it to go all the way out to the edge of the page on the right, so instead I decided to take this brand new sheet and trim it down, and that way it covered the entire page. Then I'm going to go back and use the It Is Well washi and then use that um, to create the hinge to get it in the hymnal here. So I just very carefully let the washi tape hang over half of the paper, fold it back, place it into the gutter, and then release it so that it adheres to the page, and then I've got like a nice little flip page. It was really stark and bright, and so I wanted to cover it with a bit of paint and thought about drying it with the heat tool, but then I noticed that it started to warp, so I just set that aside to let it dry naturally and then went to get the rest of the elements for the page prepped. So I'm going to use these glasses from um, Brianna Showalter and get those on the bottom right. That's going to be kind of like my title area and then my journaling is going to go on the mint colored paper. So these two hymns are Where He Leads I'll Follow and Anywhere with Jesus. And when we say that, um, when we say anywhere, Jesus, that has the potential to leave us kind of like nervously wringing our hands, right? Maybe there's that like perspiration on our brow because some places are unknown and uncomfortable, but we can trust who he says he is. And that is gracious and merciful, abounding in love, wise, faithful, our rock, our refuge, great in power, our savior, redeemer. He is good and kind. And our hearts can confidently sing, though his hand may lead me over dreary ways, anywhere with Jesus, I am not afraid. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know, anywhere with Jesus, I can safely go. And that's what I wanted to journal on this sheet here. I kind of have my notes written off to the side here and I'm just going to draw some lines with the .65 journaling pen. That'll help me help guide my writing, make sure I don't go crooked or write too large or too small. And then I'm going to go in with the .35 precision pen and basically jot down what I just uh, what I just shared with you guys. I used the Abigail stickers from Doodlebug in black to spell out my title over to the left anywhere with an exclamation point. And then I, the very last thing I do is basically write out um, my journaling here and that's going to do it. So friend, is there somewhere that the Lord is calling you to go today? Are you willing to say anywhere? I would just encourage you to put your trust in him because of who he is. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you and I'll see you next time.